welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning how to add fractions with different denominators. So let's get straight into it. For our first example, we have two quarters, add two twelfths. Now, I've written some instructions down the left-hand side here. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is try and find a common denominator because it's really difficult to add fractions or subtract fractions for that matter with fractions that have different denominators. So absolutely, our first protocol is to do that. So I'm going to write out my four times table until we get to 12. OK, so it looks like it's three times four to get to 12. And just for posterity, I'll write out my 12 times table. So that's one times 12. So I simply need to multiply my four by three to make it a 12. Now, at this point, it's really important that whatever you do to that new denominator, you also do to the numerator. So if I've multiplied the denominator by three, I also need to multiply the numerator by three. OK, so now I can go on to my next step, which is rewriting the fractions. So if I've now got twelfths, uh, which is the four times three there, and I've done the same to my numerator, so I'll have six twelfths, and I've already got twelfths on my second fraction. So that equals eight twelfths, because we don't add the denominators, just the numerators, because I've still got 12th essentially, I wouldn't be changing it into 24th. Okay, now then, when I look at that, I think I can make that a little more simple. They're both in the four times table, those numbers, um, and they are not in the eighths, they're not in the sixes, they're not, they are in the twos, but actually the highest common denominator that they share is the fours. So how many fours in eight? Well, it's two. And how many fours in 12? It's three. So our simplest version of that fraction is two thirds. OK, so for our second example, we have four sevenths and five eighths. And you'll notice with this one, I don't have denominators that I can easily make one into the other because you can't make a seven and eight and you can't make an eight a seven. So what I'm going to do is multiply these two together to find that common denominator. So seven times eight is 56. So that will give me some new denominators. So I'm gonna write those down. Now, you'll remember like with the last example, we have to make sure that whatever we do to the denominator, we also do to the numerator. So I've multiplied my sevenths by eight. Now I've multiplied my eighths by seven. So I need to do the same to those numerators as well. Okay, so four times eight is 32. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in. And five times seven is 35. So write that one in there. So that will give me a new answer when I add those two together of 67 56ths. Now you'll notice that that is an improper fraction. So I'm going to make that one into a mixed number this time. So how many 56ers can I fit into a 67? Well, I can fit one whole one and then I've got 11 56ths left over. And this example can't be simplified because 11 doesn't go into 56. Let's just give it a little go just to see, just to check. So 11 22, 33, 44, 55, 66. So actually, they don't come up with a common multiple. So actually, you can't simplify that one. Okay, well, I really do hope that this video has helped today. If there's any videos you want me to do in future, please do let me know. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share, anything that you want to do. Until next time, guys, goodbye.